Not your average motherfucking pop. Dirty boy, you know what Turn it in. Stay out my way and keep my name out your mouth. Cause I'm no down dirty about this. You heard it. Stay up early to catch the worm. Now you can slip if you wanna. Let me catch you on that corner. Believe me, you receiving some bottle that drink. Cause I'm Bentley's and Hummers. Cat is for the summer. We from the dirty south. But boy, we ain't stunning. Presidential put the juice on us. Big. No limit in the club. Screaming CP3. Yeah, uh-huh. Back with another one. <laughs> remix. Oh, we got a remix for you. Back with another one. Uh-huh. Two white kids are so they get coffee weeks in. Oh, yeah. I'm here with a good brother, the DOE. Hey. We got a special guest. Uh-huh. My boy, Mel Blanc. Mr. MSG himself. That's right. Two ass knocked out. Uh-huh. Oh, we remixing this thing today. <laughs> Oh, once again, it's your boy Kim Stones, oh, aka Coffee Weezy. Oh, yeah. Then with my boy, the brother, the Dirty Bear, Mr. MSG. Mr. MSG. <laughs> and we are the Dirty Hills. Yeah, yeah, we here with another one. Uh huh. Got a special guest. You already know we got my man Mel Blind Fury. But before I forget, I got a special guest. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Yo, yo, yo. You already know what it is. Your boy, Mel Blind Fury. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mel Blind Fury. Ramos, aka Ocho Sucio, aka. Mel Sanchez, aka your favorite rapper's favorite rapper. Don't forget, yeah. Mel, don't forget Mel Gibson, bro. AKA uh, Mel Gibson, aka oh, Mr. Mel Gibson. Madison Square Garden. All right, all right, all right. G, I love it, B. All right, yo, before we get started and all that, yo, don't forget to please subscribe to us on YouTube. We on Spotify, we on Apple Music, we on Twitter, we on Pro Wrestling Tees. What the hell we got, bro? That's it. Oh, all right, all right. What's it all? You know, um, how was y'all week, man? Can't complain, man. Uh, I'm glad this voting shit is over. How about y'all? Uh, I don't vote. Yeah, I wasn't impressed in the first place. Me? <laughs> it's cool. It's cool. Yeah, don't worry. I pop shit out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's two wings. Two wings of the same bird. You feel me? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. I'm glad. I'm glad that uh, voting shit is over for the main thing for me. And uh, uh huh. I can't wait till Corona is over, man. This shit is killing me right That's now. That's next, man. Is Corona going to ever be over? Do we know? Who knows? Who knows? That 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 whole situation changed the world as we know it. So like, yeah, so yeah, many precautions great. being set and everything. Uh huh. Yeah. All right, well let's jump into this. Today we want to talk. We want to interview my guy, Mr. MSG. It's the Blind Fury himself, and after that we're gonna do uh -huh. hill talk, man. We're gonna talk regular wrestling and shit, man. You know what's man? And we're gonna kick our shit, man. Let's go, man. Let's jump into this, man. What's up? What's up, Mr. Man? Let's, let's know something, man. Where, 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 where can they find you kicking ass at right now? Uh, <laughs> right now, you can catch me on Instagram. Catch me on YouTube, Instagram at Mel the Blind Fury. Mm -hmm. uh, YouTube, Mel the Blind Fury Ramos. You can YouTube Mel Gibson. Uh, my music is available on all platforms. Uh, uh -huh. I got two of my fights on Instagram TV. I have several wrestling matches on Instagram TV. Uh, I have wrestling matches on YouTube. Search Los Sucios, Mel Sanchez. Yo, being that you do a lot, I see you wrestle, yeah. you fight, yes. and you rap. Yes. Which one? Among other things. Among, <laughs> among, among other things. Uh huh. Yes. Which one is uh, the worst? Which one is the hardest for you? I wouldn't say either of them is the hardest because I enjoy doing all three. Uh huh. Um, what I can say is I've been a wrestler the longest. I've been a wrestler 17 years. Mm -hmm. I mean, I studied martial arts when I was little, but I didn't really compete. So I really started competing like in my twenties and things like that. Mm -hmm. so I wouldn't say either of them is hard. They just they just occupy different spaces in my life. Okay. 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 Which one do you enjoy the most? All Which three. I if you, you had all three and you had to do just one, I couldn't. I couldn't. I'll tell so you I, all I, trades, I, I like it. I like I'm it. A jack of I'm a jack of all trades. I like it. I'm a, I'm a master wordsmith. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a I studied like several styles of wrestling. Okay. I did professional okay. wrestling, you know what I'm saying? But like Greco Roman, amateur, catch wrestling. That, I see, I, that, that's what I like right there. I, I like that. The catch, the Greek, the Roman. That, that's real wrestling right there, brother. Yeah, so, I started, yeah, I started, yeah, yeah, Greco. Yeah. So, so started, what did you start with first? How did you let, let, let us know how you started this? How did this journey begin? Well, yeah. with wrestling? Yeah. All right. Well, the thing is, I had always watched wrestling since I was a kid. And um, my dad was heavy into wrestling, boxing, mm -hmm. baseball. You know what I'm saying? So really, like, my first love is baseball. Like, I love baseball. You know what I'm saying? I don't watch it much anymore, but I like playing this shit. Yeah, okay, you know what I'm saying? okay. And I was a baseball okay. coach for many years, a little, little kid. So, you know, and then um, 
Fear Reef for the kids, man. Fear Reef yeah, for the kids. <laughs> Fear Reef for the kids. Saturdays, um, Saturdays, my mom would work. My dad was locked up when I was six, from like age six to 13. So it's like yeah. Saturdays, my mom would work. So I would go to my grandma's house from her side and like three things with grandma. You know what I'm saying? Mm. On Saturdays, it was like, it was, it was fucking cartoons for me, right? And you grew up in the BS, right? Yes, sir. Okay. And uh, it was cartoons. Shout out to the BS. Oh, it's out to the BS. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> BX or VNX. That's it. And uh, grandma, like three things with grandma was like cartoons in the morning for me, her novellas, and then everybody would have to be quiet in the house because wrestling would come on. Wow, really? That's yes. how it is in my house, David. I and we would all sit down, <laughs> right? We would all sit down. It would be like my uncle that lived there, and my cousins that were there chilling on the weekend too, because I had a cousin that lived in the same building. And like we would all sit down and we would watch wrestling. We had to be like super quiet. Oh, my grandmother sent me something. She's like, "Yo, yeah, I got to What 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 was on at that time? If you don't mind my asking, bro. We would watch Saturday Morning Superstars, and then we would wait for um the, the wrestling from Puerto Rico, okay, WWC, because we used to have that channel. Also, Carlos Colon. Yes. Also, we would watch on um, Mexican wrestling when we got a chance. So okay. I, uh, yo, I don't. Okay. I'll be honest, as a kid, I watched think, just WCW and like Southern, some Southern wrestling. Because uh, I grew up down south, so. Yeah. So some Southern wrestling, yo, but we didn't have it like that. I wish we would have been able to sit down. I like I like Southern wrestling. Like, it was different to me. Like, when I first got exposed to like the regional stuff, uh, I saw the differences in like the wrestling styles and the way people cut promos. And I was, okay. You know, like, okay. Every, 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 every region in the US and everywhere, like, they got their own unique shit. So, what made you say, hey, this is what I want to do? Truthfully, um, like I said, my dad was locked up from the ages of like six to thirteen. So all I really could remember about him when I was little was that he liked baseball, boxing, martial arts, and wrestling. So I took my hand at everything that my father was into. Like he wasn't a wrestler per se, but he liked wrestling. Liked it. Okay. So okay. I started out with baseball. You know what I'm saying? I played baseball for many years. I coached little kids in baseball, and then I got into a fucking fist fight. <laughs> and I put somebody in the front face lock and I put him to sleep. And I put him to sleep. And I was like, yo. You realize you could fight. I'm like, yo. I need, do, I need to do this and get paid for yeah, it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Even if I don't get paid, like I need to do this. Because like, I don't know. I got I don't know. Can you can you remember your first fight? Yeah, I was like seven. It was actually the crazy shit is right. It was actually in this park that my mom lives near to this day. Mm. It's called Oval Park, right there on Marshall Parkway and Street. Right, Street. Right. And there was this kid that was a hell of a lot bigger than me. And I fucking put him in the front face like and I punched him in his nose and put him to sleep. Oh, man. And his mom came. And my mom was a like, bad little kid. Uh, I wouldn't say bad. I would say misdirected and a little troubled. But, like, I ain't really hurt people. So. Yeah. Um, yo. Uh, yo. Uh, yeah. Don't worry about it. We all yeah. what you see. Yeah, we all what you see. We also available on Spotify and all that. Excuse us, man. I wish my man who this was here from last week, man, because he, he was helping us out. So, so yeah, that's that's the story behind my love for professional wrestling. So um, when I moved out, my dad got out when I was 13. Mm -hmm. I had already, you know, started talking to people like older cats that I knew that were already in the business, you know what I'm saying? And uh, we used to go to this gym called Tony's Gym in the Bronx on 149th of this church basement uh -huh. with Mad Mats, and they used to bump out the little guys. And, I learned first there, and then when I turned uh, 16, I had moved up to Yonkers, like shortly after my father got out of jail, and my parents separated and shit. And I met this dude, his name is Jim Davy, mm -hmm. and um, this Irish guy, you know what I'm saying? We used to drink a lot together. And Shout out to the Irish. You know or, <laughs> Shout out to them. They be blazing. Yeah, yeah, hold on real quick. <laughs> we used to drink a lot because he used to live like down the block from my house and I told him I was into professional wrestling. Mm -hmm. He's like, yo, there's a wrestling like facility not too far from where we live. He's like, yo, come with me one day. And I was like, I right. and at the time him and I were going to rival high school and I knew people from his high school, you know what I'm saying? That I had like, you know, uh played football with and shit. Mm -hmm. I played football in high school. And he took me to the gym and I met these dudes and there was this guy there. He had done like extensive wrestling in Puerto Rico. His name is Dino Dino Rosado. And he gave me my first start and that's how it started. Shout out to Dino, man. Or, or, shout, or, or. shout out to Dino, man. I ain't gonna hold you, man. Uh go ahead, man. And the crazy thing is, you know, it's called the JWA, the Junior Wrestling Alliance. And um Shout out to Bugs. Shout out to our guy Bugs, man. That's our guy Bugs. Bugs love Bugs. Shout out to Bugs. And um the thing is, you know, uh 
it's crazy because like a few a few well known superstars that are out there mm -hmm. had their start in this gym and not you name so? I mean one. I mean one Jigsaw. Oh okay. Jigsaw. Jigsaw and his brother. Jigsaw and his brother. Those, okay. those, those are the two most uh well known. Also uh this guy um I forgot what his name. Uh Kodama from the uh I don't know but down, I know Jigsaw. They're from they're from they're from Chicago. Mm -hmm. Uh the Teary. Oh, Kodama from the Bateri. Yes, yes, okay. yes, yes, He's yes, a very yes, good friend yes, of mine yes. from a long time okay. too. And he started there, you know what I'm saying? And those guys moved on to like Chikara and Johnny Rod and started mm -hmm. wrestling all over the nation and things like that. So yeah. Well I'm gonna ask you a question, man. Whatever what stopped you or have you ever thought about traveling beyond, you know, uh you know, the states and stuff like that, it's up, or you know, out the country. I mean, promoting right now. So well, yeah. before, brother, he's, you know, uh, come on, man. I mean, <laughs> I've never had the opportunity to go overseas to do wrestling. However, there was an opportunity a couple of years ago for me to go fight in China to do a kickboxing exhibition. Wow. Against a Chinese fighter. But that never materialized. I don't think I'd have done that. I wanted to, but it didn't materialize because I couldn't get a passport. Okay. okay. And then um, there was an issue, I guess, with the uh, with the investors. They kind of canceled the whole show, and it was like, "Lack." So now okay. you, you mentioned kickboxing. Yes. Uh, so God, huh? you do know Muay Thai. Yeah. Um, I, I studied Muay Thai. <laughs> Muay Thai. I mean, I study. I study. I compete as an American style kickboxer, really. You okay. Know what I'm but I study Muay Thai. You know. Do you hold any belts? Yes, currently uh, I won the ISKA 185 pound Intercontinental Kickboxing Championship. Hold on. I mean, you kick your ass. <laughs> and uh, I won that shit at the Garden. Uh, it was my first time. It's the MS. Now you wonder why we call him Mr. MSG. MSG. First professional fight ever. And I won my first professional fight against yeah. a former trainer of mine. So it was like, it was bittersweet and it was, it was a lot of. It was a lot of anxiety behind it. I ain't gonna lie. How was the feel of you being in MSG? Yeah, I was that. How was the feel of that, man? I'm gonna tell you how the previous. I'm honest, I've never even walked in. Yes, yeah, yeah. And I live in. I live yeah, yeah, in yeah. New York. We live in New York. And I breathe New York, yeah. and I've never walked in all. I never even. Yeah. Well, I've been to MSG. I've been to MSG for like, mm -hmm. like wrestling when I was a little kid. Like my mom always took me every now and then. You know I've never saying? been. Like usually during the holidays, we would go on the we would go to like the, the, the house show before Christmas, like the holiday house show. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was lit. It was lit. So Stole that shit right there for y'all. <laughs> and um, but I had never seen the other theater because um, there's two theaters. There's the main stage and then there's the Hulu theater. Okay. So I fought in the Hulu theater. But um, the crazy shit is right. The first thing I did when I got in. You know what I'm saying? I had sat down in the, in the bleachers. I was looking at the ring and shit, and I'm like, fuck that, I'm getting in. So I got in the ring and I ran the ropes like a wrestler. Yeah! <laughs> he went there to kickbox, but he knew he was a wrestler at heart. So it was at heart. You just feel yeah. it okay. at heart. Okay. 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 And, oh, and here's man. the thing, here's the thing. I had always had this like recurring dream for like the last maybe like three years, right? Mm. And it was always it was always that I would be in a big ass crowd of people, but I didn't know where. You know what I'm saying? Coming down with a security team and and like people by my side. Fire. And I always thought it was it was at a wrestling show until like I have a little cousin who's a who's a boxer. Shout out to him. His name is King Rowdy. He's Shout out to King Rowdy. He's a musical artist. Uh, you can find him two MB Jacks mm -hmm. on Instagram. And um, very talented, very multi talented. And um, he like Jax has this. He has this thing. I, I don't know if this nigga's psyche links to the source <laughs> or like, because this nigga gets, he gets unusual good luck and unusual bad luck. Mm, it's crazy. Oh, man, they're different. Mm. So like, he goes, yo, bro. He's like, he's like, I had his dream. I'm like, what you mean? He's like, yo, I think your dream is the wrong dream. I'm like, what you mean? <laughs> he's like, I don't, I don't think, I don't think it's wrestling you're supposed to be in. I think you're supposed to be fighting, bro. Mm. It's like, it's telling, he's like, Spirit is telling you that your dream is accurate, but it's supposed to be fighting. I was like, nah. So then, my old trainer hits me up about a couple weeks later. Ironically, huh? This is in September. Yeah, how ironically? And he goes, yo, um, there's this dude that, uh, it's a German fighter. He failed the steroid test and shit. So Snyder. He was like, he's like, yo, um, would you be interested in an opportunity to fight me for a title? You know what I'm saying? And I said, hell yeah. We were supposed to fight in Chinatown. They canceled the show the first time. Uh -huh. For them to set it up at Madison Square Garden with Ooh. Neglia, who's a kickboxing legend in New York, you okay. know what I'm saying? And we're in association with uh, Develop Productions, they do boxing and kickboxing and shit like that. 
That's uh, that's what uh, Bobby Lashley was doing. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. So that's how we buy it. My boy. All right. right. So, hey, boy. so they uh, they what you call it? They hit me up and they told me that they upgraded the fight to Madison Square. If I was still interested, and it was going to be for a title, and I agreed, and I went in there. You know, I trained very hard. You know, that's y'all are smoke blood, so yeah, 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 yeah they stop. <laughs> yeah, they stop. And you know, uh, I stopped smoking weed. You know, to get ready for the fight, to get my cardio up. You know what I'm saying? To to be focused. You know, mm -hmm. and um, you know, with a positive result, I went in there and won. I felt like at first I felt like I didn't win, but then I talked to the judges afterward and the referee. Okay. And I talked to like other other trainers that were there, and they they all agreed. They're like, yeah, you should never doubt yourself. You won that. Fight. What would wow. what, what was your preparation for that match or for matches in general? What do you do to hype yourself or get yourself ready? Uh, I do a lot of sparring. I got yeah. I got a nice I got a nice big martial arts team and uh, they support me in everything I'm doing. I love them for that. Shout out to Senseless Ink Fight Team. Uh -huh. Shout out to those guys out, right? Senseless baby. <laughs> Senseless shit. Senseless. And um, you know um. They supported me, you know what I'm saying, and, and I love them for that. You know what I'm saying. They're uh, they're amateurs. You know, they fight in street fighting and things like that. But they all have, you know, they all have experience. They're all very talented, and yeah. very well versed in martial arts and boxing and things like that. And you know, they uh, they came through with flying colors and they got me right. And we were we were training in the house at my boy Dave's house. I, I know we spoke about Dave. Yeah, shout, shout, shout out to Dave, Dave man. Dave, next Dave, time. Dave, 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 Dave. Shout out to Dave. Follow him. All underscores in between. I love you, bro. Uh -huh. Shout out to, shout Dave, out to Dave, fucking. Man. Hold on, man. You got that. You got that, Dave. <laughs> Heard great things about you, brother. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and um, you know the guys. Uh, Dave has a lot of equipment in his house. Yeah. Heavy bag, speed bag. You know, we have mats, and uh, we go to parks as well. And we train with a lot of different groups of people. Uh, yeah. There's another. There's another team that uh, we kind of co-train with. They call Muay Thai Mafia. Shout out to them. Um, the kid that I fought in the MMA fight mm -hmm. in Long Island, he's actually from that team. So okay. Shout out to them. Okay. Okay. His name is Lee Blaze. So shout out to him. Shout out to you, Blaze. Lee Blaze. <laughs> That's a kind of nice name. Man. Yeah. 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 He's yeah. also a professional wrestler. Okay. Oh, we're, yeah, oh, that's that's dope dope. So we thinking about we already had an MMA fight. Now we are thinking about taking this feud like to boxing, to, to kickboxing, and then maybe a pro wrestling. Let's go. That's out of four. Let's get it. Let's go. Okay. All right. All right. Speaking out of MMA, kickboxing, and wrestling, uh, do you have any like dream matches? Who would you want to fight in wrestling, MMA, and boxing? Oh, I love when people ask me. I'm trying to stack it up like you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to stack it up. I'm trying to stack it up. up like you. Man. What y'all want to start? You want to start with boxing? Yeah, yeah man. Whatever way you want to start with. Dream match, man. Let's um, go. I'm not. I'll be honest with you. I'm more of a kickboxer. Okay. You know what I'm saying I'm working on my hands a lot, but if I had anybody, I would. I would want to step in the ring with. No lie. I'll probably see Manny Pacquiao. Mm. Like I admire him a lot. You heard it here you know first. What I'm saying? And uh, you know, it's a fighter, boy. I would like to fight yeah, him, yeah. or maybe like uh, I don't know. Fucking Canelo or somebody good like maybe uh, Teofimo Lopez or there's okay. a lot of Gravante Davis. There's a lot of good fighters okay. out there, man. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of really really good fighters out there. So you know, I'm not fighting none of them dudes. Nah, they'll probably kick know. my ass, but Yo, hey, I'm not hey, not one of them dudes. Not me. dealing with it, man, at all. Let us know. Not how one. I don't know how y'all feel about that. Let, let us know in the comments, bro. We, which one you fight? <laughs> as far as kickboxing, mm -hmm. um. I mean, I'll fight anybody anywhere. That's my thing. So, yeah, it's a question. Is kickboxing the same as MMA? Yeah, because a lot of people get that confused, like, bro. No, no, it's different rule set, different gloves. Uh, you can't slam in MMA. You can't take to. The, I mean, in, sorry, in kickboxing. Okay. You can't take to the ground. You can clinch, but they break it after five seconds. There's no elbows. Um, there's only knees to the body. There's low kicks. Damn. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, it's a lot different. Hella different, nigga. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Hella different. It's just like a street fight. Yeah, man. In a way, it is. And and I, I would probably say MMA is the closest to a street fight. There's no rules in the street yeah. fight. So you're going to go to whatever tool. If you got to use your hands, you got to use your hands. You got to use your feet, you got to use your feet. You got to use wrestling, you got to use your wrestling. You got to do dirty shit like the dirty heels. And yes, I'm a motherfucking heel. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. We all know what we got. I love heels. Hey. Stilettos. <laughs> Flats or uh huh, you know, uh -huh. I'm dirty. here for real, so you know what I'm saying. Dirty for life, you heard it. I, do my, I do my fucking dirtbag tactics and shit, <sighs> especially when it comes to pro wrestling. So I don't really have any um, mm -hmm. any kickboxing uh, dream matches, but there's a couple of there's a couple of wrestlers that are 
that are crossing over that I'd like to work with. You okay. know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna shout them out right now. Nah, I, nah, I, I don't want to know their business out there. But oh, okay. there's a oh, lot okay, of okay. Okay. But um, yeah, as far as wrestling, um, wow, let's. What are we gonna do, dead or alive? Because we talking dead wrestlers. We don't. It so dead wrestlers. Man, all, right, man. Dead, all right, so so dead wrestlers. It probably would be like Hayabusa, mm. Sawa. Mm. <laughs> or like uh, Owen Hart. Shout Ooh, out, Hart. shout out to Dream Max Wrestling. Remember, I told you. Yes, man. I love that shit. Shout <laughs> out to them. They, yo, <laughs> shout out to Dream Max they, Wrestling. Those are our guys, right there. But like current guys, um, mm -hmm. well, also dead people. God rest his soul. Matt Travis, I would have loved him to work yeah, him. Hold on. Yo, yesterday was MBK Day. If y'all didn't know, man, so big RIP to Matt Travis, Travis man. Definitely, the, man. The diamond in the dirt himself, man. Murder yeah, I'm, headed over, there. I'm I, headed over there later to blow down the L and So, man. yo, love was love. Oh, another thing. Happy birthday to El Bronco from BWF, man. Bro, yeah. I love you, man. Yeah. Yes. Bro, happy yeah, birthday. Know. Yes, happy birthday to you, brother, man. Yeah. And, um, you know, so. Uh, I was I was trying to talk. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, MBK, man. man. <laughs> yes. You and, smoke. Uh, about, yeah, Matthew. I would have loved to do a match with mm -hmm. Matthew. As far as people that are alive, like uh, Matthew always talked about like Jimmy Lloyd. So yeah, you know what I'm saying? I, yeah. I wasn't really on Jimmy Lloyd like that. You I don't do know him. I never met him before. Also, but, also. but he 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 looks he looks like he's very talented. So I would like to do something with him. Also, um, I threw this out on another podcast. Uh, Jonathan Gresham. Three reasons. Jonathan Gresham, one is he's very talented. I like Jonathan Gresham. Very talented wrestler. What's the guy got the people who was the button for that man? Press that man. Got the people. I like Jonathan Gresham and um mm -hmm. it's crazy because recently, this is the second reason. Recently, um I had a I was talking to my best friend. Mm -hmm. uh, his name is a Spanish Giovanni. He trained at uh at uh, Johnny Ross School of Professional Wrestling in Brooklyn. Uh -huh. And uh, he also produced my first single, I Got the Drake. You can find him on Instagram, Johnny Three Peaks. We had a uh, really good match. It was kind of like the Orange Pure title. Yeah. It was for this uh, little known company called NEW. Not the not the NEW you see today, but a, a previous company known as NEW. Okay. And um, we had this division called the Seven Sea. It was like the marquee, like before the world. I guess like you could say the Intercontinental title, whatever yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. The mid card title. Fire, babe. But um, we took that shit. We took that shit to new heights, and it kind of became like the, the main event status. So like, yeah. they put him and I in the main event. We had this like 23 minute match. It was kind of in the style of ROH Pure title. Mm. And I see that Jonathan Gresham is ROH Pure champion. Yo, so that, that's the foundation right yeah, there, yeah, man. Yeah, that, yeah, that, 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 and yeah. I know, I know both of your ass like that technical wrestling. You yeah. know what I mean? We love that technical. Yo, I love you know it. Yo, so, <laughs> so, you know, um, I want to tell Jonathan Gresham I've been there, done that. Woo! You know what I'm saying? And I want to step it up. I want to take it to a different level. I love Hopefully it. He's the person to help me get it to the next level. So, John Gresham, what's the word? Let's get it. Talk nice to me. Shout out to the Octopus. Shout out to the Octopus. I need to fight Matt. Yeah, I ain't gonna hold you, man. And then um, mm -hmm. there's, there's a few more. Uh, there's a few more people. There's a lot, like I said, there's a lot of good talent, especially in the Northeast, man. Yeah. So, like, um, have you ever been to Canada? No, but I wrestled I wrestled in Maine, in Augusta, Maine, which is like two hours from the Canadian border. Okay, okay. And my people drove me up to the border. That shit is crazy looking, bro. And the water in fucking Maine, that shit is yeah, good ass man clean, bro. I bet. Yeah. <laughs> I <right>, full. <laughs> and they don't yo, and they don't care about weed out there. Like you nah, smoke weed out yeah, there. They, they it's crazy, fuck, man. They don't give a fuck, bro. In what? Maine too. Like, they, they care like they really care about guns out there. Maine, yeah. Bro. Like they don't care about weed. Like they care about the weed out there in Maine. That shit's beautiful, bro. Beautiful yeah. state. No. See, I was trying to apply there for Job Corps, but they sent my ass to Albany, so you know how to uh, say that. <laughs> Yo, you know what's crazy? My boy, my boy Abraham Khan, right? He wrestled over there in Staten Island at Warriors of Wrestling. He hit me Shout up. out to the Warriors of Wrestling, man. Yeah, he hit me up recently, and he was like, yo, because I had told him I wrestled in Maine. And he was like, mm. yo, what's Maine like? And I told him, I was like, yo, it's, it's, it's weedy out there. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, you know. Shout out to the fucking Maine, man. <laughs> I, hope he, I, hope, I hope he does his thing out there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shout out to Abraham Khan, man. Uh huh. Shout out to Abraham, man. Yeah. Yo, that's that's dope, bro. I ain't gonna hold you, man. So so I hear you rap too. Yes. Give me I, some bars. Uh, other things. Uh. We get some bars later. We get some bars. Do you like I battle rap? Out for you. No, I don't like battle rap. I don't like don't the state of battle rap. rap now. To me, to me, like it's cool. You know what I'm saying? What it evolved into, but in my eyes, in my eyes, and y'all probably agree with me because y'all are mm -hmm. from out here. Y'all already know. Heads. A battle is when two niggas throw on a beat. Whether it's the same beat, whether right. they rhyming on the same beat, or they rhyming on a different beat, and you drop your hottest 16 on that beat. 
You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I, I like I like battles. Shout yeah. out to the get down, man. Go check that out on Netflix. Uh, yeah, DJ <laughs> wrestling too. Yeah, man. Yes, yes, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Yes. Um. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, how long you been rapping? Uh, well, my background in music is from the choir and church. Oh, okay. I used to play piano. Woo! Jack of all trades. That's crazy. I always wanted to learn how to play that's piano. Crazy. I took classes at Eden College for like a summer. My mom put me on. It was, it, was it was mad cheap. It was mad cheap. And I had always had a keyboard in the house. My mom was like, yo, try it. See if you like it. And I was like, all right. I only took it for three months. And I had learned a little bit about music theory and shit, but okay. I used to be able to read music. Now I don't. I lost that talent over time, but I play things over here. Like, I can hear something and, and instantly that's read, crazy, man. replay that's, that's and dope. shit like that. I, I know how to identify keys. Like, it's crazy, bro. That's dope, man. So, like, I, I basically, I used to freestyle, like, at house parties on my block. Like, uh-huh. was, like... Alright, like, niggas would throw these house parties, <laughs> and it would be, it would be, it would either be, like, the, the cats, it would either be the cats, like, the West Indian cats that would be fucking dancing with the, with the, with the Jones, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you from the Bronx, too, so I thought it was crazy. Yeah, so we would, we would boogie out and shit, I would dance with girls, and then, like, I used to gamble a lot back in the day. So, like, <laughs> niggas would play poker, like, all the young, all the younger cats yeah. would do one thing, and then, like, the older cats would shoot dice at the parties and play poker. And then like it would just people would just throw on beats and like the whole oh, just start going at it. That's Especially, what it was cool though, man. That's yeah. what it was cool. See, it's I understand not, the difference that's between what it was cool, though. man. That's what now it was cool. like it's before senseless. it was about who had the best rhyme. Now yeah. it's about who killed you the most. Yeah. So it's like, you know, I started out on, on that and then like I have friends that was doing like we used to get the yo, these that <laughs> seven thirty next tells, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah, the next tells. Play the beats on the next tells. Just record freestyles and then like um Your church joints mm-hmm. and then i talked to you know some <laughs> friends that i knew that was making music like and when i was like in my 20s and i was like yo what's the word like i don't got the equipment like mm-hmm. i come with the money you know i don't mind paying y'all because y'all are my people i'd rather put money in the hands of my nah, friends that's real shit. Yeah, 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 that's real shit. Shit. That's real that my friends know what they do so i'm like yo yeah. i've been on this way for a while and i went up with these older dudes and they um they linked me with a friend of mine that I knew actually from uh, from summer camp. We used to be summer camp concerts together. Uh, Jack of all trades. Or, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and he's just like, yo, um, he's like, yo, come to my house, man. Like, I got equipment. Let's do it. And we did a song, and you know, he put it out. He didn't put it like on the radio or nothing, but like, like we didn't distribute it or nothing. But we just, you know, let people hear it. And, Mm. Got to go okay, to something you like to do. Yeah. yeah, it was just me riding on someone else's beat. It was just me talking hard. And everybody was like, hey, you got skills, bro. you should write. And then I started writing like poetry and shit like that. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, spoken, spoken word, word baby. Yes. Spoken word. Exactly. Spoken, spoken word. Spoken word, word, baby. And then I would go down to New York and Poets Cafe. Okay. And hear like freestyles and spoken word out there. Because I had older cats on the block that was doing it. And they used to like the little babies. And they would tell our parents like, yo, we're going to take them all in the room. Okay. And we'll bring them back. You know what I'm saying? So we would just go, watch them, chill. And then we would come back home. And they would take us back to our parents like, yo. <laughs> it's not like going on a trip with Bobby Brown, right? Uh, it's not like you know we were trying to we were trying to get cultured onto other things as little as little mm-hmm. as little kids. You know what I'm saying? Like, right, right. You know, it was just like oh, I was stuck with certain people and you know certain people from my block. Was, like, you know, okay. Like, um, people watch me grow up, so like they already know what I'm about. You know what I'm saying? Like they see me training. Like originally we used to train in my old building in the in the hallway with my cousin mm-hmm. and like. All of my other cousins and quite a few people are like, yeah. <laughs> he says you have something for us to play, man. I don't know if you want to hook the Bluetooth up for him, so he, you know. Uh, you know. Phone. My phone is actually over there. I'm All right. My phone real fast. Yeah, man. We got Blind Fury again on the ones and twos, man. Uh, of course, if you don't want to see us or him, you have to please check us out. <laughs> What's up? You want to start spitting now? That, that, that's what you're going to do. I got bars. Huh? That's how you two minutes. I'll put you on a record. Every two minutes. All right, man. Yo, Blind Furry, um, let, let's hear something. Let the crowd hear uh, something, man. A snippet or something. I'll let y'all play the whole song. You feel me? You know? Uh, what's y'all blues? I found my headphones. Roadcaster, right? Yeah, Roadcaster. Roadcaster. One second. Once again, this is the Dirty Hills, man. You uh, comment down below and let us know how you feel. If y'all enjoying yourselves or not. Um, we will be talking about uh, 
AEW. Full gear. Full gear. Yes, yes, yes. Um, after the inter this interview with Blonde Fury. You still got Monday Night Raw to talk about. Um, I didn't like Monday Night, um, Monday Night Raw, but we you will know, get to that. I didn't even catch it this week. It was so crazy. It was trash, man. I'm not going to hold you. What is it called? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Roadcaster. It was no build up for Survivor Series. Who were the kids about Survivor Series? Did you see it? But we talk, we talk about that in Hill Talk. You already know the vibes, man. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Uh, like man. Oh, thank you. Speaking oh, like shirts. my shirt. Speaking of shirts. <laughs> oh, uh, so about this shirt I have one? Well, I'm going to talk about my shirt first. Oh, okay. Let's talk about shout out to our guy Supernatural, man. Uh, he was here last week, so y'all go make sure y'all check out our one year anniversary episode. Uh, if y'all need any of his shirts, please check, um, hit his DM. Or is he on Pro Wrestling Zone? No, no, no. Just hit his DM. Just hit his DM. He got you. We'll take care of you. Shout out to you, Supernatural. Shout out to our guy, Who This? You know? Yeah, it was a great episode. Now, uh, about your shirt. Oh, this episode. I mean, this shirt. <laughs> yes. Uh, well, this shirt here. If you any, need anything from us, again, we're on ProWrestlingTees.com. ProWrestlingTees.com. Uh, I'm going to say it right for you this time. Dirty Hills Gear underscore 132. Okay? Yeah, I did. I said, I did it wrong, but it's all right. All right. We will be making drawers, socks, uh, quarantine masks, thongs. <laughs> Is it quarantine masks? <laughs> <laughs> Feel me? You know? Come to Dirty Hills, man. Definitely, man. Uh, what we need to play is on YouTube. I got you right now. All right. All right. So this song, this song is from a, a documentary we made about the uh, the whole process mm -hmm. of. Uh, hold on one second. About the whole process of uh, me fighting, uh, going to Madison Square. It was like everything that led up to the fight, the weighing. You know what I'm saying? Um, is available on all platforms. It's called Getaway. So I'm gonna play around. Give me one second. Yeah, make sure you go check that out. It's on yeah. all platforms. All platforms. Yes. I'm trying to get on iHeartRadio on the low. We got to do it through a distributor. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. I would recommend DistroKid. Yeah. Yes. Okay. It's all right. cheap, you know what I'm saying? Y'all can get it on. And um, if y'all want to distribute other things, you know what I'm saying? You can do it as a company. I'll, I'll, we'll talk okay. about that. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about that. Dirty Hills Records. Oh, big shout out to the voice of the people, man. Yeah, um, man. Dan, I love you, man. Appreciate you, man. The guys been nothing but good to us. Big shout out to Last Out Media. Last Media. We yeah. love y'all guys out there in Philly, man. Oh, big shout out again to Job man. Uh, we love the vibes, man. All right, so uh, this song is called Getaway. It's uh, me, Mel Gibson, featuring the Crash God and uh, Sigapon. Uh, they're really good friends of mine. Mm -hmm. uh, they were like the older generation of my block. Like, these are the guys I looked up to. They used to hang out with my older cousin who passed away. Both my older cousins actually. So um, shout out to them. Shout out to you, Sega, and shout out to you, Cracks Guy. Let's get it. Mm -hmm. I also made this beat, by the way. <laughs> like, I make most of my beats. I try it. Yeah. Okay, Dre. I don't want to be paying people for. Nah, no, you shouldn't have to pay niggas yeah. for the beat. Yo, because I ain't gonna fuck beats is expensive. He's talking about piano playing. Yo, see? My boy, the church. I will first, uh, I was, Yeah, boy. Thank you. Yo, I can tell good the first 30 seconds is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Shout out to everybody who ever wanted to get away from normal life. You tired of the bullshit? Oh, yeah. You want to get on a plane, hop on a oh, bus? Let's go, baby. Get in your car, get on your bike, let's get it. Mel Gibson, holla at me. Woo! Get away, get away. I just want to get away. Go on vacation. Focus, 
Money making is the motive. Yeah. People pistol loaded. And I ain't never focused. Cause I gotta stay focused. Money making is the motive. Get away, get away. I just wanna get away. Go on vacay and disappear without a trace. Get away, get away. I just wanna get away from all the fake and all the hate. Move hey. away to another hey. place. Like deep space. Nobody even know my face. No more darkness or rainy days. Get away, get away. I just wanna get away. Get away, get away. I just wanna get away. Get away, find the I'm just trying to catch you. Ooh. Ooh. Uh-huh. My new name, Pothole. Got my boy Pothole with me. 
Mel Gibson. We gotta get to the point, man. We got it. We got it. We got it. Yo, we back. We back. We back again. We're gonna talk a little bit of wrestling. We're gonna talk full game. Full game, man. How y'all liked it? How y'all liked it? Again, um, it was awesome. We had went down to the Jabba Tears uh uh viewing party. Shout out again to Jabba Tears. Yeah, shout out to Jabba Tears. We got we got out of front. Yo, we ordered like uh four plates of wings. Four plates of wings. Uh, I don't eat meat, but. I used to eat wings like a maniac. Yo, yo boys, I like 40, 50 wings. Four things of wings. Four things of wings, four things of fucking Budweiser. Budweiser. Like yo, it wasn't smoke like 30 hours. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was awesome. I was, awesome. I was, I was wasting my time I got home. Just know that. Nah, yeah. I, was, I, I was, could I, watch <laughs> this shit the next morning. I watched AEW full get this morning. I haven't even had a chance to get to it. I didn't even watch it all this week. It's all right. We're going to fill you in. We're going to fill you in. It's such a crazy week. All right, man. This is not real. Talk. This is Hill Talk. All right, let's get it in. First match, man. We got Serene, Serena Deep, man, uh, against Allison K. Uh, Serena Deep is the the new NA NWA champion. Yes, man. I know who she is. Yes. Women's champion. <laughs> NBA women's uh, champion. She Both of them, actually. Yo, she defeated uh, Thunder Rosa. You feel me for to that? Get the to get the title, and she um, fought Allison K. Of course, Allison K. lost the belt to Thunder Rosa. Yeah, Thunder yeah. Rosa. She has yes. the skills to be a belt. Yes, she yeah, does. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. She does. Uh, the match was awesome. I'm not gonna hold you. Allison K. is also a free agent now. You know what I'm the saying? The only thing confused me was the fact that um, she uh, they had Thunder Rosa lose off camera. Yes, and uh, no, no, well, she didn't. And then they had the two girls that had the title. She didn't lose off camera, bro. She left. Uh, she lost on Prime Time Live. Big shout out to Prime okay, Time Live. Big shout out to our guy Danny Lime. Well, what about the people who didn't watch Prime Time Live? No, they wouldn't know this. You know what I'm saying? No, this is this like, is true. like for me, Prime Time Live snuck up on me. This is true. So I didn't even know until you know what I mean. Until we posted. Yeah. Big said until we posted. Yeah. Man. But it was an awesome back and forth match. I'm not going to hold you. Uh, Allison K, man. She's, again, she's tremendous, man. Uh, she's uh, also from, you could have saw her impact re- uh, wrestling. Okay. You feel me? You know, she was doing her thing. I'm not going to hold Serena D. She, she just got fired from WWE. I, I remember. Okay. Yeah. Okay. She yeah. don't want all the WWE girls want to battle. Right yes, now. yes, and yes. Sweet about yes. It. Bailey wants to smoke with her too. Okay. If I'm not mistaken. It was Bailey, Bailey and um, another yeah, girl. Yeah, okay, man. I did see that. But it was a back and forth match, uh, hard hit. And just let me, let me, I want to say something about females wrestling, man. Believe it or not, man, no matter what size or the like creed or race you are, you can do it, man. Big shout out to them females out there doing it, man. I love female wrestling. I'm not going to hold you, man. Uh, uh, I just became a fan. Something about, <laughs> something about a yeah. woman. Something about a woman that does athletic things. Yeah, man. Yeah, I was cool it's with it. I, I was never wrestled a woman, but <laughs> that's a whole other story. Hey, big shout out to In the Gender Wrestling, man. Uh, oh, well, yeah, I yeah, haven't. Yo, <laughs> yet. Yeah. 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 The time yeah. will come, man. But it was dope, uh, of course. Serena Deep picked up the win. I'm actually checking out the highlights right now on my jack. And this is not real talk. This is hill talk. You understand that's what I'm saying? Uh, Thunder Rosa picked, um, debuted after the match. Okay, that's what I thought. She, she, came, yeah, she came back out. It was visible in the wins that she was going to go to WWE. I'm kind of glad she didn't go to WWE. Nah, because she lost the title, you man. I wish she would have lost the title better. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. we're going to see a little bit more between Prom, uh, Thunder Rosa and Serena Deep. So y'all yeah, right. So is Prom Time Live now in the way? Yeah. It's, well, it's United Wrestling Network. Okay. That's that. That's a body government. Of that's wrestling, a body. yes, like like, like money money that, that, yeah. The NWA. I wrestle for the NWA. Of the 10 pounds. <laughs> oh, well, I need, I need to interrupt. Nah, um, I wrestled for the NWA North Jersey back in the day. That's okay, okay, lit. Okay, okay. Long with like Chris Candido, yo, it was lit. Oh, I did Chris Candido, man. Oh, wrestling, yo, he was a great man. Bro. Yes, fine. Great yes, man. You got to wrestle great with him. Man. Yeah, that's dope, bro. Same card as him, man. He was, he was, he was really nice too. That's dope. That's dope. That's dope, man. Uh, yo, I ain't gonna fight. I, he could have been something. Last time I seen that man is an impact wrestler in uh, Turning Point 2004, man. And like three days later, he passed or some shit like that. But again, wow, yeah, yeah. RIP to that man. Uh, I'm going to give that. Yes, I'm going to give that match. Or, uh, honestly, I'm going to give that match. Because again, I'm a big fan of Rimmers Wrestling. I'm going to give that match. And I don't give dirt. So I'm going to give that match a five dirt. Not bad. That's you know what I mean? I ain't mad at you. I was just happy uh, Thunder Rosa came out. Yeah, yeah, because I didn't want her to go to WWE. I'm I mean, it was a one point. I was just glad Thunder Rosa came out. I, I was like, I didn't move with the match, but because I didn't know the two females, I was like, how? Did, yeah, like, you know, I was mostly like, how she gets the fuck title. Yeah, yeah. I didn't, you know, yeah, yeah, that would have been dope, bro. I could, I could see her wrestling at Stardom. 
wrestling all of our, I, I believe, yeah. Kyrie Zane. Marvelous. Marvelous. Yeah, Kyrie yeah. Zane. Yeah. 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 Masha Slamovich is out there marvelous. Oh, wow. Killing, killing, wow. Killing them out there. Wow. Shout out to you, Marsha. Yo, big shout out to her, man. All right, man. Uh, next match, we going, we got it. We got Omega versus. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Omega we got versus. Omega versus the Hangman Page, man. Fire. And this is the finals to determine the number one contender for the AEW World Championship match. First off, shout out to Joe Fo because we did have a bet. Yeah, shout out to Joe Fo Wrestling. Um, shout out to Joe Fo Wrestling. I got to go get me a t shirt. I think, I, th yes. I think we were actually tied, maybe, but I'm not sure. Yes, but if y'all do want to see our predictions and Jofo, y'all go make sure y'all check out on on YouTube. Uh, Jofo in the ring, or y'all can check it out on our page, uh, 30 Hills underscore 132. It is, it is there. You know, I put yeah, it there yeah. too, man. But uh, Kenny and Omega, man. I mean, Kenny and uh, yeah, Omega and, hang Yo, yeah, I do this often, man. I get my shit twisted. It was, it was, uh, it was a long time coming. Yeah. Um, I like, I got to say, the storytelling was actually good on this. You know what I'm saying? Fire. You know, you know, because we see they knew each other's moves in and out. Well, it, I'm keeping my highlights right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and everything. I, I, it I'm, was a, it was an in and out match. You knew, you knew at the end that very fast like you knew yeah. it was a very fast paced match, but you yeah. knew at the end that Kenny, Kenny Omega was gonna win. I got a dirty little fun fact. All right. Do you know Kenny Omega was drafted to the NHL at age 16 to be a goalie? Never. I heard it. I heard that he turned that down. Turned it down. Yes, I was like, "Wow, man! If you didn't listen, I'm letting you know that now. He could have been the goalie. I did hear that. And if you don't know, most Canadians, if they're not hockey players, what the hell they are? Wrestlers, wrestlers. Man. That's yeah. a fact. Yeah, that's a fact. <laughs> baseball. I know, a lot of, I know a lot of Canadian wrestlers. Yeah, yeah, they're, yeah, they're yeah. Really yeah. Good wrestlers, man. But great match, five stars. Where, dirt where does this leave Hangman though? He did lose a match though. Let's let's be honest. Uh, where does this I think leave Hangman? Hangman touched heel. So are we gonna actually get to see our our four horsemen? Or is that story not over? I don't I don't know, man. That's that's great that you said it. Are we gonna actually see our four horsemen? Cause I would think that I would like to see it. Uh, I would like to see it. Um but the Sean Spears is fighting Scorpio Sky. Yeah. Um, yeah. but what you call it? Uh uh, oh, the old guy doesn't come out with, with him. Who? Tony Blanchard? Yeah, nah, Tony Blanchard, still, he still comes out with him, man. Okay. Tony Blanchard. Yeah. Shout out to Tony Blanchard, a <laughs> legend. Four. You, you see the four up in there. Well, I don't know. There. I don't know. I, I think Kenny, Kenny Omega is going to go on and get the title. I, well, I like the full circle they brought it back to with Moxley and him. Because remember, last yeah. year they fought. Yeah, but I uh, think Kenny Omega is going to get the title because Moxley has to go on to New and, Japan. And he has to fight uh fight Kenta. Yes, because Kenta has a briefcase yeah, so uh, to, for the IWP US title. Right? I think eventually that's got to happen. Okay. Kenny's you know going to kick somebody in the face. I love that. Yeah, I, I like the fact he went back to where he needed to be because he was uncomfortable in, uh, down in, you know, in the States. I'm not going to hold you, man. He ain't going to Yeah, he, yeah, 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 he, he was very right. uncomfortable, man. Yeah, I, was I, was angry. Angry. I was angry that. WWE wasn't using him for a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I was well, angry. no, that's because he had got injured. And then when they brought him back, then when they brought him back, yeah, it was, it was, like, it, uh, it was blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah. Uh, let us know in the comments below how you felt about that. You know that uh, uh, how you felt about Kenta being in WWE and how is he doing now? And do you think will he beat Moxley for um, for the title? You know? Yeah, he's gonna beat Moxley. You think he's gonna beat Moxley? Hey, well, I don't know. I think he's gonna beat Moxley because uh, Moxley has to give hundred percent in one place. That is true. That is true, man. I mean, unless you're going to travel, unless your contract is up. I don't know. I'm not sure what to say. I don't know the politics behind it, but you got to okay. get 100% at least one place. All right. All right. All right, man. Again, how many dirts do you give that match, man? Only five. Do five. We, well, dirt is our, our stars, man. How, what, uh, feel me? Uh, how many dirts you give it five? Five. My brother? I probably see the same. I liked it. I yeah. liked it a lot. Yeah. I liked it a lot. I'm looking at the highlights and, you know. Like the sto again, the storytelling with Omega and uh, and Moxley and even Hangman, the whole elite tied into it and shit like that, you know. I think out of both of them, Hangman had the harder route. Yeah, it's a fact. Yeah, I wish. Do you think if he would have beat Jericho to be the come the first AEW champion, do you think he would avoid these issues that he's going through now? No, he would still have to fight Kenny. Oh, this is true because that's Kenny's. That's his main goal. Kenny ain't playing. Everybody know Kenny Omega is the champion. He's the fucking champion. Yeah, and he just threw the triple A yeah. mega champion. Yeah. I'm not yeah. mistaken. He, he is mega okay. champion. All right. Remember, All right. he brought it out when he fight Phoenix. Yeah, he won it yeah. from Phoenix. Yeah. So yeah, shout, yeah. shout out to Kenny Omega, man. Yeah, shout, can we? Uh, yeah. Let's go. 
Yeah, I, I see him beating Moxley. What do y'all guys see? Uh, uh, he's beating Moxley. I like Moxley. I always like Moxley. He's a badass. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. I've been yeah. following him a long time. So. B- believe it or not, he's not also just a brawler. And again, you know how I like very technical. You yes. hit people with yeah. like yeah. homicide. Yes, bro. yes, yes. 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 Y'all go oh, check that out, bro. man. He been, he been ending a lot of matches with submissions. Submissions, man. You feel me? <clears throat> All right, man. Let's move this shit on real quick. We got Ars Cassidy versus John Silver, man. I thought it was dope, man. So I like John Silver. Can I can I say yeah. something about that match? Yo, yeah. when he tore this dude's pockets out. Yo, awesome. yes. Awesome. Lit. Fire. And also, also, also. I like John Silver. He hit, he hit the, I do. He hit the like, it's like a. Yo, the. Put him in a torture rack. Torture rack. Power, power bomb shit. Power the boy yo. is powerful, man. The boy yo, is. He was like, look up, feel, baby. Yeah, yo, I like yeah. John Silver. First of all, yeah. I just say John Silver yeah. was the, the best one yeah. out of the whole. Yeah. Since day one. On his Instagram, he's number one. But, yeah, uh, but they call him number four. Yeah, he's really <laughs> number four. Orange Cassidy <laughs> turned one. up in this match too. Yeah, he, um, that was that. I remember John Silver had he had him like a suplex and he twisted him into like a cut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, man, yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, some type of DDT. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. And then um, John Silver hit him with this like crazy ass running boot on the ropes. I was uh. like, oh god damn! See, but the thing about it became yeah. predictable because I knew they weren't going to get John Silver singles uh win. Mm. I've never seen him get a singles win yet. Well, if y'all don't he barely know, gets tag wins. Well, if y'all don't know, they have fought together before in Beyond Wrestling. Mm, I didn't I saw, know that. They, they are rivals. I did not know that. Go so check that out. Uncharted Territories. Mm. If y'all didn't also, no, know, I did see you put that up actually. Yeah, yeah. They broke in the business together ten years ago. Wow. So you know, the wow, team, this is a long way to match. It, for the, 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 the chemistry was awesome, bro. I ain't gonna. Yeah, it was a great match. Like I said, I give it five. Now I, mean, I, I give it five just because of the antics, and I like those guys. Now we know Orange Cassidy is gonna always be good. Him yeah, versus Darby. He's nice. What's up with the Dark Order? What's what's up with them, man? Where Are they waiting for Brody Lee? Where is Brody Lee, man? What happened? I think Lee? I think me personally with the Dark Order, the Dark Order should at least have the tag team titles already. He fought Cody. He fought Cody in a dark color match for the TNT title. And that was the last you've seen him. Yeah. Yeah. I love Brody Lee, but I just think uh, they kind of misusing the Dark Order right now. They should be like the most powerful faction. Yeah, they should be running up. Yeah, over. I, no, I, 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 they shouldn't be I going agree. around trying to recruit people. Like they should get rid of fucking non. No, 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 no. They should get rid of the dude who has the blonde hair. Was I They're hate. all good, bro. It's just where does this leave Brody? Where does this leave Dark Order at, man? Brody Lee should come back as like, you remember before he was just giving orders. Yeah. He should come back and give yeah. orders. Here's a question, right? If you could get somebody like, all right, we talk about the fantasy book and shit, right? As we digress. Let's all right, go. So who would y'all put in any stable against the Dark Order? Any stable from any company in this? Like, what's like, any stable? Ooh, that's hard. There's so many Dep- stables Dep- out there. Depending on the numbers, because uh, the uh, Dark Order got like seven or really like ten people in their in group. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. But like the NWO or some shit, the black and white. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, 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 yeah but, but, but them guys wouldn't matter. To. I'm not going to be honest with you. The Dark Order would have won, man. That's a fact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fantasy book. Again, shout out to Dream Match Wrestling, man. All right, man. Um, Again, how many does I give that, fellas? What we'll, we'll uh, oh, Oh, five. Yeah, that was five. Five, five, five. Yeah. All the way. All yeah. right. Nah, that pocket, that pocket gimmick was yeah. crazy. That shit had me working. Yeah. And then when he, when he did that spinning torture rack, I don't know what. It was like a spinning or. torture rack, but he's powerful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That shit was sit out. Was you know, yeah. I seen him try to do it. It was crazy. I seen him try to do it the first time, and Arch Cassidy reversed it. I was Cassie good. That that boy te- yeah, that boy counter yeah. game is crazy. But yeah. well, my he's thing for Cassie, yeah. he just beat Jericho. He should be Twice. on a, he's, yeah, he should be on a high. He uh, he should be where Darby is right now. He I, should be Darby's number one contender. No matter what happens to Orange, he's good. Yeah. If you, uh, the gimmick is great. The gimmick is great. Then he can tell me. Coming from wherever, where and whatever. Weighing. Like he's, he's a skilled ass wrestler. Yes, he is. Yeah. Yes. The boy got talent, man. All right, here comes my favorite match, honestly. Darby and Cody, man. Mm. I've got, of course, Darby, to me, and I've been saying this since day one, Darby is the breakout star, man. The yeah. breakout star. You feel me? I didn't watch it. Again, 
I watched the highlights. He chucked, yo, he yeah. chucked Darby. He chucked Darby out the ring on his ass. Yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. And yeah. Then, I yeah. think that was the match when he hit the cross rolls off the top. Oh man, boy, yo, yeah. Never. See, for me, I don't watch yeah. Cody matches. Okay. What a bump though. What a bump. It, yo, I think. Bump, I think. I think uh, reason for me, I just didn't watch it because like I just find Cody to be boring. Uh, it's not that. I mean, man. he's cool, man. Like he's just not my. And I'm, like, all right, for me, yeah. I don't. It's not his wrestling. I don't like the storyline. I don't like the fact that it's he. The Prince of Wrestling. Yeah, I just don't like it. I don't like I'm the so storyline. He's the Prince of Wrestling. I don't like the fact I that he, 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 he did wait. a good job of putting him over. I'll tell you yeah, he's he putting him really good. But he, but he, how, he does it too much sometimes. He yeah, does, but, he does yeah how that. much is putting someone over? You still have the title, bro. That's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. How much is yeah. Look, you put yeah. Brody Lee over and took the title. Now, where is Brody Lee? Okay, you gave the Darby Allen. Now, how long is Darby going to have the title before you decide to come back and get that title? Mind you, he can't. He can't have the world title. Well, did you see what happened at the end? We had Taz, uh, we had Taz come out talking shit. Yeah, talking shit. We had Ricky Starks and, and, Brian, both, and Brian Cage came out and attacked them. Uh, they both I, held up the title at the same time. First of all, I'm not a fan of Brian Cage. I'm know. not either. All right. I like Ricky Starks. Lucha Underground, yes. <laughs> Yeah, but I like Ricky Starks, bro. Absolutely, I'm a I'm a Absolute, big man. Ricky Starks fan. The boy good, man. The boy is real. Good. My thing is, Taz is right. Ricky does deserve some kind yeah, of yeah. Because those, like I said, those numbers you gotta watch AEW Dark because a lot of the numbers are buff numbers. If you ask, yes, they me. are. Because all right, it's a girl. I said this last time in someone else's podcast. It's a girl named Abaddon. <laughs> girl, she has a face. She's like eleven and fucking old, oh, dog. That's on dark though. On dark, but it, so you try to tell me she doesn't deserve to she, be on dynamite? She was on dynamite one time, and she won. Now she's injured. Is she? Yeah. <laughs> I to be a crock. Yeah, I be a crock of shit, man. But again, but, man, uh, yo, Cody, man. Um, we love what you're doing with wrestling, man. Or oh, honestly, we really do. Dude, who's who's Darby's number one contender? Who's Dar- Darby's number one contender? I don't know, man. Taz got to figure that out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. Say, Taz got to figure that out, man. Because again, he got this FTW belt and he doesn't do that for me. Yeah, women. I hate that title, man. Like you know, I hate that title, man. You know, I think. Ricky deserves that title. You hate what it represents. You hate what, what, how it looks. It, no, 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 I just hate. I just hate. Who was it on? Yeah. It, it, yeah. No, 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 no. Nothing. So I love what it represents, but I like when the belt is full. full. Fight for the title, bro. Fight. That's your title, right? You can't just walk around. I mean, and I remember. Like, I remember when he introduced it in ECW and. But he fought for it. He, the only two people that were the, the only thing is right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. But wait, no, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and like and like after that, then he unified the title with the ECW world title yeah. and it was over for that title. It was in steam. But I'm saying I don't see that happening here. I don't see them unifying shit because don't nobody even ain't nobody interested in that shit. And Brian lost his chance of ever being world champion if you ask me. Ain't no he got the love for yeah. He got the love. Yeah. He's talented. He's yeah. just not my nobody's type of wrestler. In, yeah, nobody's yeah. interested in that shit, man. Yeah, that's basic. That's uh, I don't give a fuck. Uh, uh, that FTW title, man. Darby, man. You know I wish you all the best of luck. Oh, Will Hobbs. Oh, let's talk about Will, Will Hobbs. Yes, Will Hobbs look like the nigga I went to high school with, man. I ain't gonna hold you. Like I, I, I swear to God, like I went to high school with him, man. Like, Will Hobbs. Yeah, man. Like we we went to King High School together, man. You used to call him Will Cobbs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or he over acorns. I feel like we like school him, but I love that boy. I think he, like I went to school. He could have been the FTW champion, but they screwed him over. Yeah, so I can see that. Now they want Taz, Taz wants to recruit him. That's never going to happen. So, so let me ask you a question. So to, have, so, so to have Taz's title, you have to be with Taz. What if I just win it? And well, Sam, we want it from Taz, but then, but then. Taz got that world title shot in the storyline, and he he beat Sabu, well, and he unified the titles, and then that's when the the history, the, the so called history of that title. Well, it, it's actually three people that held that titles before, and that's yeah. his cousin. That's his cousin, cousin. cousin. Who? Um, Chris Chetty. Yes. <laughs> shout, I forgot. Shout about out that. to Chris Chetty, man. <laughs> forgot, forgot about it. Yeah. 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 Listen, listen. Yeah. This was a good year, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the that's I, our golden age. Six, eight, seven, I was doing hip hop up to our. Straight out of low cash, right? Yeah, that was me. <laughs> but um, I, I, again, I want to see a little bit more from Will Hobbs, and I do see him being a future champion. Hopefully, he be 
he takes that belt from Brian. I didn't do my homework on him because I'm not very familiar. Yo, boy, good, man. He's from the I Indies, mean. man. Feel me? I'm going to do my homework. All right, man. Let's go and move on. I get that match, of course. Uh, I, can't, I ain't gonna lie, I give that match four dirts, honestly. How you give four? Yeah, because Cody. You the Cody? Yeah, because Cody, you know, is. He, I don't like how he puts people over after a while. You know what I mean? All right, man. Let's move on. Now I mean, he let him hold up the title, too, so it's not. No, no, first of all. <laughs> that's like, yeah. First of all, it's like you never lost the title then. Yo, put that up. Yo, I ain't gonna lie, we need some better tape. Yeah, that shit. Oh, Thank you, brother, man. Up. I ain't gonna lie. Um, it I wouldn't be a hell Cody. It wouldn't be a dirty hill episode if nothing get fucked up and I shit. I ain't gonna hold you, man. That's that. that <laughs> we yeah. all on audio. We sound great on audio. I'm not gonna hold you. We sound awesome. So y'all make sure y'all check us out on Apple, Spotify. Uh, yeah, you know. What's next? Etc. Oh, What's next match. The Young Bucks. Nah, nah, nah. Nala Rose and uh, Kushida. Shida. Oh. Um, oh, Nala Rose and Kushida. That's crazy. No, Shida. 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 I went. Yeah. I went for Nala Rose too. Mm -hmm. I went for Nala Rose and I definitely lost. Uh, her, I think her chance is blown as, you know. Like I said, I don't understand they women's division. Well, biggest shout out to Sheeta though, because she umped her game. She was like busting ass. I ain't gonna lie. Like, she, you don't see a different. What I didn't understand was the end. Oh, uh, what? Guerrero was slapping her? Yeah. Does I, that, what does that mean? I, uh, excuse me? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Excuse me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't understand. Her, man. She uh, slapped her, then she walked out the ring. I've never seen nobody slap Nana Rose. But that's what I was I was confused about. But, but who the hell would want to slap Nana Rose? Look at her. Exactly. She, she beat the shit out of her. That's Vicky Guerrero, though, bro. Like, she slapped a lot of people between yeah, her and so Stephanie. Fast. Excuse me? Between yeah, us, yeah, between yeah. her and yeah. Stephanie. Yeah, yeah. yeah they I wish that. that sound like that should be crazy. Oh, we're going to work that in. We're going to work that in. Speaking of dream match, and I was actually looking, I was thinking, Nala Rose versus Nia Jax. That'd be cool. Oh, shit. man. I would love that. that. Think about I like, it. I like the new get up in that. She had that cool get up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yo, that was fire. The blue and yellow. It was fire. Think about that, man. Oh, I gotta go. Oh, oh. Let us know in the comments below. How would y'all feel about Nia Jax versus Nia Nia Rose, man? I gotta go Nia Rose for that one. Yeah. I gotta go Nia Rose. I like I like Nia Jax though. She's I, yeah, yeah, I do too. But Nia, 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 Nia Jax is she's, so she's, too, very, yeah. she's very unsafe in the ring, man. She's very unsafe in the ring, man. Uh, so y'all just gonna go for because she look bad. You know what? You know what? I'm going for. I'm, come oh, on, man. Come on. Come on. Come on. Nia Rose. Go for Nyla Rose. Let us know comes again. I'm Let us know what you got. Go for Nyla. Nyla Rose is now yeah. talented. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got to think about it, man. Bro, but once again, Koshida did win. Sheeta, man. Sheeta, man. Sheeta. Koshida. That's what he thought I said, no, too. No, Koshida is Koshida is different wrestling. Wait, wait. Hold on. You're talking about, talking about Hikaru Sheeta. A dream match. Uh, another dream match Shida. again. I would love to see Sheeta. Koshida <laughs> versus Finn Balor again. And NXT for the belt. How would y'all feel about that? Yo. That'd have been dope. They I fought. think they should do it not at NXT. Well, in Japan. It was done in Japan. I think all not matches are dope when it's not, not, seen not done in WWE. Yeah, that's movie. true. Let's be honest, true. bro. All right. It's a different style. They go for yeah, it. They're it's... not so restricted. Yeah. And then it's different moves they can do and can't yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. No, you're yeah. all right. Okay. Not restricted. Have you ever been told, hey, you can't do this move? Um... They tell me sometimes, they told me sometimes like to, to turn it down. Like, you know, I talk, I talk, I try to talk to my opponent, you know what I'm saying? Because if, if my opponent's not come through with taking something, I don't want to put them in danger. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? The same way they would, I would appreciate if they gave me that consideration. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah, so yeah. Like, I, I wouldn't want to, you know, yeah. hurt nobody. You ain't no new jack and that like that, right? Yeah, nah. I ain't nah, no new jack. You know, I, I, I got to take care, you got to take care of me. All right, man. Niggas ain't going out like New Jack. Niggas ain't going out like New Jack. All right. He's a wild man. That boy is different, man. Shout out to New Jack. Uh, it's dark side of the ring, man. I can't wait for season three, so y'all look out for that. Brian Pillman's story is going to be crazy. Yo. Oh, I beat that dress central. Yo, the best. I wish they used the sun a little bit better, you know, but hey, it is mm -hmm. what it is. Feel me? I met yeah. him once. He was, he was pretty okay. Oh, we met him too, man. We only talk about sneakers. Too sweet. Yo, that's Bang. <laughs> Shout out to sweet. Shout out guys. to Brian Pillman. That's that's one of our guys, man. If you see this out there, I, I'm, in your, I'm in your DM, man. All right, man, moving on. Uh, we got the Young Bucks versus FTR, man. Uh, let, me, let me give you an easy egg. Well, probably yeah. everybody already knows it. The Lakers versus Celtics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah, that was kind of trash, man. 
Uh, I don't are know. they from Boston? Yeah, I don't know. Where is no? I think they're from the Carolinas. I think FTR from the Carolinas, boy. Yeah, I think they're from the Midwest. Yeah. Okay, only go out. The young bucks you. from Rancho Cucamonga, man. Cali. Rancho Cucamonga. That's a fire name. I, yeah. I, I, didn't, I only heard about that name in, uh, uh, next, uh, Friday. next Friday. Yeah. Next Friday. Yeah. Next Friday. Yeah. But then when I heard that, the young bucks were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't think that was a real place. Hello, Grandma. There's money out there. That's a money area. That's why they didn't live out there. Uh-huh. 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 Alright man, yo, fire, fire match again. I'm Great a big match. fan of tag team wrestling, man. I used to be a tag team wrestler. Have you ever fire. been a tag team champion? Yes, I was the BWF tag team champion. Oh, yeah. fire. There you go. Shout out to BWF, we were, man. We, were, we, we defended the titles all over this freaking nation. That's just crazy. Who was your tag team partner, bro? Uh, Sushi Oron. Sushi Oron. Shout out to Sushi Oron. I don't fire, think I've known, I don't know him. I know a lot of guys from BWF. I don't yeah, know yeah, 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 yeah. Is he is he low now? Is like can we change? He's under low key. He just okay. started. He wrestling in Florida mostly and things like that. Okay, like, yeah, okay. Uh, You guys ever heard of D Ramos from NXT? No. Nah, he's, nah. uh, he's one half of the New York Recon. He had a tag team match with them. Uh, he's actually Homicide's cousin, okay. something like that. And uh, they're, he's a really good dude. And the New York Recon's they're really good friends of ours and shit. So uh, he was on NXT twice and shit. Uh, they, okay. they went on this car axle ride and Dave Dixon. <laughs> and they got jumped. I forgot who. Uh, fucking Adam. Adam. Uh, what's his name? Sixties name. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Crazy. Sixties yeah. name. They got jumped, and then and then uh, he was on. He was. He's been on a uh, uh, WWE program twice already. So shout out yeah. to him. Shout out to you, D Ray. Yeah, shout out to him. Shout out to him. on the same last name. Well, so if he's in Jacksonville, you might see him on AEW Dark, man. Bang, uh, man. Uh, 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 All right, man. Let's move on, man. Uh, F- again, FTR. FTR. Young Bucks, man. Well, the Young Bucks had, like I said, Young Bucks had to win. They wasn't going to uh, get now, another chance to win the title ever again. If you so. were watching BTW, did you see the plan that they had if they oh, didn't win? They were going to come out with They were going to come out with their own tag team TNT title? Yeah. Imagine that. Yeah. Come out with some trios titles. I would like the trio title. Yes. Come yes. Come out with a trio yes. title. Hell yes. Yeah, come out with a trio title. I would love a trio title. Nothing yes. against the TNT. It makes sense. You know, but got so many freaking people. Yeah. Luchasaurus, yeah, uh, Lucha, yeah, yeah. Uh, Jurassic Express. Then you'd be able to fight for it on Dark. <laughs> You're not a fan of Dark, are you? Man? Not, bro. You're a fan of okay, um, AW. Oh, I like Dark, but it's like, okay, mm-hmm. okay, it's predictable. Yo, one thing about that. Yeah, because everybody that wins is going to fight on Dynamite. Yeah. That's how it And then if you fight on Dynamite, most likely you're going to lose. Uh, yeah. Well, that's that's like the no because then that, they got you have to get your win on dog just to get your <laughs> loss on that. I promise you, it happens every time. Bro. I fucking counted this shit, bro. I've literally counted this. Shit. <laughs> Only people who lose all the time on dynamite are probably like Lee Johnson. <laughs> yeah, Lee Johnson, Sean Luda, fucking uh, Yo, that, that, Brandon Cutler, Ariel Dominguez. Yeah, got or Brandon Cutler. That, Brandon Cutler. That one he, has, he has two wins, man. Two no, wins. Those yeah. are guys that are getting. Who do you win? That's one win. He has two wins, bro. What do you get a second win at? Michael Nakazawa. Michael Nakazawa, boy. I'm talking about Michael Nakazawa. You beat Michael Nakazawa or AEW Dog. I told you. I got my hat dogs. I like Brandon Cutler. I'm going to start watching it for him. <laughs> I like I like the losers. Yeah, I love the losers. Because so. they try the most. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yes. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Back to that match, man. Again, uh, did y'all picture? You know, did y'all see the moves that they were doing? To yo, each yo, other? niggas, niggas hit the heart attack. Niggas they, hit the heart attack. They weren't even doing their moves to each nah, other, bro. They were. They were trying to do uh, other superstars. They, they were doing team. other tag teams. I was crazy. Uh, trying like Doomsday, bro. 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 So what time? Bro. Dash Wilder tried to do a. Uh, uh, Front flip off the top. That's of at the end though. That's at the end though. That's at the end. That's how they go like back. Hold on. That was fire. Yeah. That was definitely it was, fire. It was, it was some crazy moves. Cause uh, uh, they uh, shot the bar. They cut the three D, but they cut them all. Yo, that was trash. That was a trash three D, man. I ain't gonna lie. I did, yeah, I didn't. Yeah. Uh, that's why I said they tried. Like, yeah, they yeah. tried. <laughs> and then it's like you know they the, these dudes hitting the bumps yeah. and shit. Um, yeah. No lie, I like I like I like the fact that the whole match like everything. It was super high yeah. intense, super, yeah. like yeah. super yeah. synchronistic. Like for me, I like I, I don't like the grounded fighting. You know the the, the, the outside. Like, no, no, mostly what FTR do. What do, what do you That's call? tag team wrestling, bro. Yeah, I like when they jump. I'm more, I'm more of a listen, listen. I'm more of a tag team. Listen, I'm more of a young bucks. 
you know, he likes to live in. He likes to fashion. Yeah, that's it. Let's <laughs> <laughs> get this shit done, man. Ah, ah, ah. Contrast in style. Okay, that's okay. Yeah. Well, well I don't like the tech wrestlers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but yeah. for me, I thought it was dope. Every every move was dope. I ain't get bored. You didn't? Nah. Because he, does, he doesn't, uh, he's not a fan of FTR, man. Nah, I'm not. I'm not. But <laughs> I, I, I already knew it was going to happen. Like I said, once it get predictable for me. Oh, well. I give it a six dirt match. Let's see what Dave Meltzer gives it. I give it a five. Give it a five. Give it a four and a half. Give it a four and a half. Why do you give it a four and a half? Give it four and a half? Um, if you ask me, I'll say a four and a half because I feel like maybe the ending could have been a little better. Yeah. yeah. I give it a four and a half. I, I, for me, I, I didn't like the, too much of the build up. Well, it was better from 2016, man. Yeah, I know, man, but it could have been. The Young Bucks have won. Uh, I don't like the simulation behind it. Like, oh, if they don't win, they don't get another title shot. Like, come on, man. That match was all over the place, too. Yeah, that they have won, bro. That, again, the early. company was kind of built for them, but not for them. Yeah. You feel me? So, yeah. come on, man. Every, nah, do you, nah, nah, nah. Are, are they still heels, man? Do you think they want to still be heels now that you got the belts? Nah, they, they're automatically faces. <laughs> that power bomb on the guardrail was crazy, too. Boy, yeah. oh, that running power bomb, that lightning bomb? Yeah. Oh, you fucking power bomb. Shout yeah. out to Disha Lagan Tiger, man. Yow. Yo, big shout out to him, man. Yeah, man. All right, man. Uh, let's see what Dave Nelson gives us. I give him a six. Let's move on, man. Dave <laughs> Yeah. Uncle Dave. Yes, yes. Uncle Dave. <laughs> Yo, call me on days. <laughs> Word. Yo, um, Matt Hardy versus Sammy Guevara in an elite deletion match, man. Yeah, yeah. that shit was crazy. What? Are you serious? He's he's, he's mad. All right, all right. Yeah, like I'm getting thrown into the Yo, oh, uh, good brother Weeson. Why? All right, for me, I'll be honest, this is mad. I was like, there was too much going on. <laughs> I was like, all right, why is Hurricane there? It made well, no that's, sense. I was, I was glad to see him. I mean, it was cool to see him. Don't I was, glad to I was him. happy. The game Grail came out. I was like, so that wait, if Game Grail. Yeah, he signed, I think. Down, I don't think, I don't, wait, I don't think wait, he signed. So yeah. if Game Grail down with the. He was like, I made you. We forgot what I did. I, I, don't, I didn't understand that. I, is Game Grail down? I, I just, <laughs> why is he there? That's how Man Hard's matches go. That's yeah, why? That's the, how his matches go, bro. Confusing. All right, all right. Even more confusing. Right. But wait, where did <laughs> the fucking private party come from? Where did they come from? Where did LA they took too long to get there? Santana and Ortiz. Shout out to them too. And then, and then they just the disappeared. Out. It was awesome, bro. Was this a dream? Everybody had their own storyline, man. I'll be honest. I don't even I know who that. won this fucking match. Matt Hardy. Yeah, it it did. So the match didn't get really serious until they did got. Did they have to pin each other? What the fuck was this? That's not <laughs> the the that they have going Thank on. You, man. Thank you. Know you. Yo, man, I didn't. I didn't he, interest. He me. doesn't like the broken universe. He's not. A fan. I'm not I'm cool He's with not it. Not a fan of it, it man. Sense, man. I like the promos <laughs> and I like the weird shit. I like the weird shit. I don't know. I like when he stops time. Think of a fact. That's I like fine. that. I do like that. Yeah, that's fine, man. But it's different. But they, I kind of think they were playing it. Yeah, I don't know. Was it, was, it was good to yeah. see the hurricane though in, in his yeah, hurricane. Yeah, that was yes, 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 yes. I was like, is that fucking game grab? Did he came back? I was, I was like, yo, you yeah. that fuck as a baby. <laughs> fucking game grab. He just came out of nowhere. Bro. Uh, he yeah. came out of nowhere. And nah, private party came out of nowhere. Yeah, it took it too long to get there. Nowhere. It took too long like, to get there. The day, like, were they sitting in the barn just? Oh yeah. Where the match came from? Where the Gin and juice. Gin and juice. Yo, yo, the same water. It was. It, yeah. was, it was cool, man. It was cool, man. You sure? Yeah, it was cool, man. Well, I, I guess it was, it was funny. Cool. That was funny. I got yeah, like that. I put it like it wasn't three. I give it a three. Yeah, I give it a three. What? It was that was funny. You what? Yeah, man. For what it was. For what yeah, it was. for the most part, I give it a three. I like man. to. I would like to see them in like a wrestling room. Yeah. I would like to yeah, see. They always kill each other every time they fight. He did bust his head. He did bust his head open. Now already, now already, he's a number. He got, he got skills. Well, Eddie Guerrero. I mean, uh, Sammy did bust his head yeah, open. Yeah, Sammy did. Yeah, Sammy's yeah. awesome. Sammy's yeah. awesome, bro. Yeah, yeah. Sammy's. Well, it looks like he he's he jumped up the fucking ladder. Yes. Yes. The dome deletion, man. The boy. The boy. The boy. They were some good spots in this. They were fucking crazy. You got to go home. 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 You got Man. It was uh, better than that Bray White House of Warriors match. Yeah, that was ass. Nice. That was ass. Nice. Yeah. All right. I seen some. I seen right. some okay. Cinematic, that was confusing to me too, man. I, I, it I, I, wasn't I, I, better than that Boneyard match though. Nah, the Boneyard match was fine. <laughs> Boneyard match was fine. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. 
It wasn't better than the Moose in EC3, though. I that like, was fire. Like, well, no, that I, was I fire. Like fact, I kind of like it. This is going to sound fucked up, but I kind of like the fact that Lindsay could keep his arm. Yeah. It, added, uh, it added a degree of realism to it. Awesome. Yeah. That was awesome. Like, it just still has back to drop the other tape. Yeah. 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 I don't have that. All right. He'd be sleeping at night talking about, talking about politics. Well, you know, he got locked in a room, though. That was in the money in the bank. Yeah. That was in the money in the bank shit. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, we, yo, we talk about everything. Man. All right, all right. All right, man. Let's this brings us to the next match now. Being the fact that Sammy has got, you know, uh, he's out indefinitely to this whole shit with him. Matt Hardy. This brings us to the whole MJF and the champion. There's a new opening now in the in the circle. How do y'all feel about that, man? Um, I think I also lost this bet. No? That's what you think about the whole bet? I went to Chris, I went for Chris Jericho, so I'm not mad. I can't be mad at anything I, Chris Jericho does. All right, so I agree with my people on this. Okay. And, and, and Ortiz, well, Ortiz, rather. Okay. It don't mean no more people. Yeah, that's how I felt, too. too. Yeah. I yeah, felt that way too. Yeah, I love Ortiz and Santana. You know what I'm saying? Those are my dudes. It seems like I MJF was know. trying to infiltrate, infiltrate, infiltrate. infiltrate. So this means Jericho might be on his way out of the inner circle. Do Do you I see that? Know. Do you see that? I can see Jericho. He just, just turned 15. I, 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 he looking at his abs. His abs are hard. I don't even abs like that. I'm 35. Yeah, so I, I don't see. Oh man, it's a tough. That's a lot, man. I can see him trying to infiltrate and become the leader. I can, but maybe. Screw, I don't know. Screw all that. This is the I match that people want to see. Warlow versus Jay Hager. Yeah, we do want to see Let's that. Let's see that. Because all they do is stare at each other. Let's That's see that. Cool. We thought we wanted to see Luchasaurus like and Warlow. That was a good match. Nah, but let's see Jager yeah. and the Warlow go at him. Ever since he came into any, uh, AEW, he's got this game. Not yet. Yeah. Yeah. After, yeah. after he left. After, after he left. Yeah. 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 Yes. You know what I'm saying? First he was yeah. saying he's wrestling and now he's just beating people up. I'm like, oh yeah. shit, he got yeah. him. Yeah. yeah. He is still uh, yeah, I forgot he is still the Lucha Underground Champion. Yeah. Shout he is that. still he is still the Lucha yeah. Underground Champion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Listen, his wrestling pedigree is retarded. The boy good. Like, his, yeah. yeah, his wrestling boy, pedigree is great. So like shout out to him. Man. Shout out to my man Big Hurt, man. Uh, I would like, like to see that match, man. I'm not like I said, I'm not mad at the match. It was cool. Uh um, okay. roll up pen. There is that is move back. How do you feel about that, man? The world, roll up pins? Yeah, that's the world's deadliest. deadliest right, you know move. what? So, so I like roll up pins. I'm gonna tell you why, especially when it's when the two wrestlers that are going really back and forth and they got a favorable history with mm -hmm. each other, because it creates that oh shit, niggas is trying to put. They try to hit him with everything. They hit him with the signatures. Okay. Then they hit him with the with the big move. Then they hit him with something else. Then they're like, yo, I can't put him away. And then somebody comes okay. out with a fucking pin, and then boom, swerve. Oh shit. It's All right. Right, I've done it. I've done it. I've done it. I've done it. And it, and it, it fucking uh, again. They made the crowd hate me a hundred times more. Let us know. Yeah. Like, Yo, like, you know. he's such a scumbag. And I'm yeah. tight though. I cover my yeah. I, That's yeah. how I felt about when, 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 when NJF one though. I'm like ah. It's he, 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 used, he used he used He used Jericho Railroad. Chris Jericho shit. He said he can do whatever it takes. man. Yeah, that's pretty dope though. That's right, man. Whatever it takes. Heel shit. Real heel shit. How many does I give it, fellas? I give it a four. I, 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 I move it up to a four. All right, All right man. Damn. All right, what's next? What we got? Seems like I'm by myself tonight. Well, we got the, the hardcore, crazy ass fucking. Uh, we, we got the end, baby. We got Eddie, Eddie Kingston. Kingston the Mad King King versus King. Moxley. That's a real nigga. I'm a little, yeah, man. I'm Eddie Kingston scares me. Eddie is so good, Philly. Yo, I, yo. yo. I he, he reminds me of one of those uncles that always do this. <laughs> You know what's crazy? Him you know and Santana, right? And if you look at him and Santana yeah. together, don't they look like uncle and nephew? Bro? Yeah. Oh, the wow. Eyes. No, the whole, the whole shit that he had, the yeah. way he faced it. Are you, are you trying to give us a dirty old fun fact, man? Not a fun that fact. That they might be. I don't know. Is there any case from you Yeah. He's from Yonkers. Okay. Yeah. He's from Yonkers. You know what I'm saying? He's from Yonkers. Why, yo, baby? I met him in Philly, actually, one time, and he was, he was real cool, but I was kind of hammered that day. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That, that dude, he he he's intense. Like this this match was fucking intense uh, as hell. From it was wide. it was personal. It is intense. Yeah, it was, yeah. It was a very personal match. Man. Man. I didn't man. like the outfit, but he was painting. You don't like the Misawa outfit? No, yeah. my boy. Yeah, Why paying, not? Misawa, Misawa, Misawa. 
fucking yeah. tiger mask, bro. Yeah. Fucking ro- rolling elbow. To be honest, I don't even. Tiger Drive by 91. Don't even, yo, don't even get love it. Squad. Yo, good yeah. shit. Good shit. You really look, I like what you're wearing because you got shit. the Juna Kiyama colors. You look you're like hurt. You're 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 hurt. you yeah. His is like the Emerald Green. That's why it's called Emerald Frozen. He also paid tribute to R.P. Tracy Smothers. Okay. With Word. You feel me? Uh, R.P. Tracy Smothers. Word. He had his whole shirt on. Blase, blase. Oh, that's, that's what the shirt was. Yeah. T stands for this. Yeah, yeah. Thug shit, bro. Thug, okay. Yeah. I thought that was his, honestly. Nah, nah, man. You got I heard the commentator was talking about no, it. No, I, I can't wait. I know Eddie Kingston. He likes he likes Kobashi, so I can't yeah. wait to wear some orange shit for Kobashi. Yeah, you know? yeah. I'm pretty sure he gonna. You do wouldn't think shit. a man like that from the streets would like like shit like even know about Mitsu uh, Mitsu Hara. You feel me? That's oh Minoru Suzuki. But Bro, that I'm from the streets. Nah, what, like, like, what about what about Fuji? Minoru Fujita. Minoru Fujita. Anoki. Uh, me? Fucking Sakuraba, like even Baba, man. Yeah, yeah. Giant Baba. Baba. Even Baba. Baba. Yeah, Baba was okay, man. I told you. All that and all about giving uh, niggas them headbutts and shit like. All right, man. Where does this leave Eddie Kingston, man? Uh, anywhere he wants to go. Pop. Pop. Yeah. Oh, Bastard. definitely. Sebastian. Yeah. Bastard. Yeah, because he's trying to take the uh, group from. Him. Yeah. Come on, now. We, I can see we, that. We all gonna see um them fight each other. Uh, Phoenix and Ray, um, uh, Phoenix and Ray, I mean, they're the same person. Penta and Ray, do you see Eddie Kings, I mean, um, Pac coming back, man? Yeah, I would like that. Oh, um, yeah. That gives Eddie something to do, right? Yeah. All right. I yeah. Get, I, call, I get that shit six dirts, man. Then it would give it a good three on three, too. Oh, um, yeah. You would get the Butch and the Blade. Nah, they did. Honestly, honestly if, there's somebody, the if there's somebody oh, that would join, if, that, if there's somebody that would join up with Santana, and and Ortiz and Lime Light and all them. It Lime Light. It would be Eddie Kingston. It yeah. would make the most sense. I'm going with Eddie Lime Light. Blood ties. Blood ties. Blood ties. They all go way back. So it's like, that would I make the most sense to put them together. And he's Hispanic, so it's like. Shout out to the bodega. Yeah, shout yeah. out to my Puerto man. Puerto Rico's everyday, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is Cuban, like. Yeah, man. That would've been dope, man. But um, Eddie Kingston did. Jericho's so an honorary yeah. Puerto Rican. I heard his Spanish. Shout yeah. out to you. Why did he have to get this on, though? Yeah, yeah, nah, yeah, my yeah, man yeah, said, yeah. he called Hector La Bo Papa Dios. That was instant. <laughs> that was instant. Because Jericho's over me the F. Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Jericho gets yeah. everything yeah. though, man. He's good at what he do, man. He's definitely what he do. Good at what he do, man. Happy birthday, Jericho, man. Yes, sir. All right, man. Uh, the well, last match. Watch the. Uh, we have Omega come out. Omega comes out. Stands oh, down. Yeah. That's in the pay per view. You know, in the match, he comes down, stands, stands down, Moxley, man. And that brings us back to him beating Omega. I mean, uh, Omega beating Hangman. When do you see Omega taking his belt from Moxley? How's the soon? ASAP. How soon? I'll give it uh, two Wednesdays. I gave it to I gave it to like March. Talk about the time around me and you. I don't know because the reason why I'm saying this is because he has to go to New Japan. You know they really they really boasting these yeah these yeah. uh suitcases right now. Yeah. Uh, well, no, you know, shout out to the, uh, the Super J Cup. Y'all look out for that. That's, yes, I love the G Cup. Yo, one woo. of my favorite tournaments ever. Y'all look out for that, man. Leo Rush is in there. Your boy Chris Bay is gonna be in there yeah. doing his thing, man. So y'all look out for that, yeah, man. Right. Nah, nah, he's on strong. Okay. Yeah, he, he's on uh, New Japan strong. Shout out to Danny Limelight, man. I was on his live, man. He did a show with us. Da da da, yo. Much love to you, Manhente, my brother. Yo. He told me that word. I'm like, what do Manhente yeah, want to do? That, yeah, my, my, my family, my, my people. My people. My people. Oh, yeah. oh, hey, Manhente, yeah. Right? yeah, man. But all around, how many dirt y'all get? AEW full gear, fellas. Get five. Get five dirt for me. I agree. I agree. Yeah, it's lit. It's lit. It's lit. It was lit. Alright, man. Usually, usually. Yeah, I never, I never one or two joints that don't catch my interest. After all this complaining, he do. You gonna? What you say? I don't have a problem with that. He right? I never have a problem. with it. <laughs> <laughs> we just like wrestling. We just like yeah, wrestling. Man. Now I do love AEW. It gives us something to watch. Yeah, it opens, oh, I love it AEW. opens it up to multiple, multiple other promotions, man. I like AEW. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that's the one thing I like about AEW. It, it always. You know, that, uh, believe it or not, we are an indie yeah, podcast. Yeah. We started as an indie podcast. We yeah. started going to indie events first. Everything indie is better. Yeah, you everything, know? everything. Yeah. Yo, yeah, you heard it here first. first. Yeah, man. 
indie musicians, indie wrestling. Indie wrestling is great. There's yeah. so many good companies doing different yeah. stuff. Like I've seen so many cool stuff. Yo, yeah, definitely, man. definitely. This is a great fucking episode. This is a great episode. Um, fellas, do you have anything else to say? Oh. Or are we talking about? Plug yourself in, baby. Yeah, man. Uh, you know, everybody knows me. Uh, my name is Melody Blanc Fury Ramos. Uh, ISK, 185 pound kickboxing champion, professional wrestler, mm -hmm. MC. You can find me Mel the Blonde Fury on Instagram. Uh, songs available on all platforms. Uh, the one that's out is called Another Dollar, featuring JBX and Chris Chavo. And uh, stay tuned for more stuff, ladies and gentlemen, because I ain't stopping. Also, Alpha Fight Club coming soon. Mm. Yeah. Bam, 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 bam. You heard it here <laughs> first. Boy, I wish I had that button. I need to get that. Wait, we're going to work on that. Word, yeah. word. Well, once again, it's another Dirty Hills episode. Yo, yeah, can I have... I, you I'm want gonna, something to say? Shit. God damn it, oh, man. Say something, man. Say Sorry, something. man. Say uh, something. Whew. It's been a pleasure say doing... Something. This has been a pleasure doing business with y'all niggas. I'm going to fucking quit. All right, it's the end of the Dirty Hills. We can't drop mics, but... <laughs> <laughs> nah, but again, love is love. Uh, thank you for tuning in again. Mr. Blind Furry, Mr. MSG, uh, Kofi Weaston. Yep, it's your boy. I'm your guy, good brother both, and we are. Bye, my Dirty Hills. Woo! Dirty Hills.